got quite a few things to pick up from the storage later what we've sold which is why we're staying local I know that quite a few of you like to skip the intro but I'd like to stop you there this time today just to let you know I'm doing a walk for um, autism in March, March the 26th to April the 2nd 10,000 steps a day so 80,000 steps in total um, I've set a goal of £125 to be raised for the charity which it's the first time I've ever done it, so I'll be happy if I raise that much. If I raise more, so be it. It's a great cause. Um, so I'm going to drop a link in the description that just takes you to the page. If you're feeling a bit fresh or whatever and you want to help out and donate to it, then it would be greatly appreciated. And if not, of course, that's fine. Just thought I'd let you know that. I'm just going to get some cash out and then we'll uh, jump onto the car boot. We've got Oldham car boot today and Ashton. Anyway, that's enough for that. Let's get out of here and uh, see if we can find any bargains. Well, then you're alright. I'm going to put some of these Pokemon cards. Oh, yeah. Let's have an old one. How are you doing? You alright, yeah? Yeah, not bad. You're down to that corner, can't we get you some? I know. I watched the last two videos up at Bolton. Pretty busy car park, isn't it? Yeah, the last. Last week's was yeah. rammed, yeah. Good block. <laughs> it's in the open for sure. But yeah, it, it could be alright up there. I went uh, a bit back and uh, 
Uh, last week me and Kevin went to were really nice. Good money. One of my old pals there, he's got the, the room up upstairs. Hello, Kevin Ashton. Yeah, go on. He's not doing three for a fiver. He's not doing for the three for five, about three pounds each. Excuse me. I'm strong for these ones. It's maybe not for you. I don't even know what they are, to be honest with you. <laughs> Because I've, never... no, I've never seen them before. I don't know what they are. Fair and this. So, that was all done, car boot. About as much as I expected, really, at this time of the morning. Um, bit quiet. Not much stuff on what I go for. I did just buy um, some cards off my mate. I've never seen them before, to be honest, so I need to do some research on him. But he's always a good guy, he's looked after me a couple of quid, so if they turn out to be valueless, it's no skin off my nose. And uh, knowing what I know with cards in the past, I'm pretty sure my money's safe in them for a few pounds, so yeah, decent. Now we're uh, off to Ashton, so I'll see you guys when we get to Ashton. So here we are guys, uh, just approaching Ashton now. There's two reasons I've come here today, one, to make some footage for you guys, and two, I'm looking for another Pokemon card album where I can put cards that I've listed up for sale. I found that putting them in, I've got one album already that's full of uh, cards that are listed. And then obviously this will be my second one. It's just so much better to store the cards that are for sale. It makes it easier to find them. How much is there? It's a five for that one. Okay. It's one of the original. They're still working as well, nice it to is. see. Yeah. Not often you see that. Three pounds. I sold these before, but this one's got a bit of the paint missing. Um, nice figures though. They're only resin, but they sell for decent, you know. I got like twenty five pound for one of my and I think the other one was thirty five. Give what you want to. 
This is usually where the Pokemon killers are. See if he's got any blinders. Don't know if he's got the blinders, so I'll ask him now. You alright mate, have you got any Pokemon binders? You, you still have the little... Uh, I've, got, I've only got like little ones now, they're not the big ones. Are you interested in them? Or? Is it the ones that are four pockets? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's what I got last time, like a little about that big. Have you got them with you? No, I'm not on me. No. I could bring them next week though. Yeah, if you can, just bring a couple, because I like I say, I bought one off you last time. What I do, when I list my cards that I want to sell or something, I put them in that particular binder, you know, so it's easy to find them. Yeah, exactly, yeah. So, yeah. I'll pick one up off you next time, yeah? Alright, yeah, cheers. There'll be, there'll be one missing. There'll be about one missing, not bad. Yeah, it's cool, yeah, no problem. Oh, right, thank you. Alright, cheers, thank you. So, I hope we're getting my finder this week.
So that's it guys, there's nothing on the Ashton Forest today. Like I say, they come down looking for the Pokemon binder. <laughs> but the lad unfortunately ain't got any with him, he's gonna bring them next week, so it's an excuse to come down next week, innit? Right, we're gonna go back to Oldham. Now it's a bit later, see if anyone else has turned up. Might take his women to the storage unit and get get picking them up. See what Oldham. I'm just like that guys, we're back at Oldham. See if anyone else has turned up. What a film. Still sealed though. How much are the DVDs? Adam? I'll take, take it then, there's four in that one though. Yeah, yeah. So. Yeah, I've just said 20p each to get, to get the dough. How much one? All of it. Fiver. Five pounds? Yeah. I'm glad I got them though. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, I've got for it. I've done well for a fiver if you want. I just haven't got the storage, it's an absolute steal, but I know. thank you. Alright, you're welcome. All them DVDs for a fiver. If I had somewhere to put them, I would have bought them myself. Would you? Yeah. Yeah, he bought them all. Thought he would. Hi. No, not me. Uh, There she is. This way there. Well. I said you'll be back in a minute. Yeah. <laughs> you alright, yeah? Yeah, you look. Yeah, good, thanks. Good, good. Yeah, it's a bit windy up here today. I'll tell you another reason it seems so quiet up here today as well is because uh, my mate's not on the Tuesday on this stuff. I think he'll be back next week. <clears throat> Usually buy a few bits and bobs off him.
Can you do me? Don't say working. So if it's charged up, yeah. Cheers, bro. Kindle, that must be the wire for it. Uh. Let's lock you out. Kindle and charger, two quid. It's not something that I usually buy, to be honest, but it's been quiet today, so I thought I'd take a little, take a little uh, gamble with it, why not? I tell you what, that was one of the weirdest days at the car boot sales that I've had in a while. So I've gone to two car boots, technically three, because I went to Oldham twice to see if any new buyers come. And I spent in total six pounds. That's pretty crazy. Um, like I said, oh, I'm not really going to buy like just anything at the minute. I've got a lot of stuff to work with. So I'm looking for basically at the moment my mindset is if i see like a decent card collection whether it be football basketball pokemon even dragon ball z uh, you know a decent card collection then i'm looking to invest in stuff like that coins uh, silver gold the usual stuff any banger games of course i'll pick them up uh, other than that i'm not really looking for maybe trainers if they're decent yeah basically what i'm looking for is minimal headache maximum profitable items basically if that makes sense so yeah um bit weird missing bolton already bring back bowley bowley will uh, obviously be decent car boot where i can pick up quite a bit of stuff so what did we buy we bought technically six items and spent six pounds so i'm gonna cost average a pound an item um, I know the Harry Potter DVD set, you can get about £8 for it. Pulp Fiction, that's just staying in my collection because it's sealed and it's a good film. The Kindle, if it's working, um, I've searched the model number up. It goes for about £16.99, paid £2 for that. If it's not working, it even sells for £5 anyway, so that's not bad. But all the cards and the coin, I need to look at a little bit more into them. The cards, uh, the coin is worth about 4 99 and I paid £3 for the coin and the cards so yeah pretty decent really for what we picked up right I'm going to storage now pick up the items that we sold uh, I'll show them to you and then I'm gonna head back home so guys all the stuff actually wasn't here and um, got two of the items at mine which is fine but this was her Lego Indiana Jones Xbox 360 with a manual this sold for £4.95 plus the postage then we've got prototype 2 limited edition no book stated on the listing which is why it sold for 175 plus two pound 30 postage so basically two quid and then this you might remember this but it last it was either last week or the week before from bottom lego 60283 camper van um, when i bought it it looked like it was sealed but it's actually built inside which is actually good when you think about it because I can show this as complete um, which is why it sold really quickly it's only sold for £10 plus postage paid £6 for it, I did overpay but again I thought it was sealed um, but it sold really quick, made a little bit so no either and to the person that left me a comment saying do I still have the Gears of War Meccano it's right here mate, it's in my storage, nice and safe uh, box it was already like this it won't get any more damaged it's going to be nice and safe here so if you're interested shoot us over an email or something my email is usually in the description and we'll sort out a deal mate